Are you looking at the camera? Yeah. <laughs> at the camera. Welcome to another episode of Bluff City Grub. Today we're gonna to be making our buffalo chicken dip appetizer. It's game day. We're about to give you one of the best buffalo chicken dip recipes ever. Youth basketball Saturday morning in a crock pot. Let's hit it. back to Bluff City. It's game day. Today we're going to be giving you our recipe for buffalo chicken dip in a crock pot. <laughs> it's simple, it's easy, it's fast. Set it and forget it. If you guys like the buffalo chicken dip recipe today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give us your feedback. How do you make buffalo chicken dip? So we got a rotisserie chicken here from the local grocery store. Six bucks, man. Can't beat it. It's already done. Real easy, real simple. You want to make sure you take the skin off of this guy before you bust him up. We have the skin off of our chicken. Now we're just going to go ahead and pull the meat. Pull the chicken. It's already done. It's nice and hot. We just got it from the grocery store, so it should pull pretty easy. Just take the breast off of here, just like that, and just pull the chicken. Put it in your crock pot. I tell you, Greg, one thing I like about this recipe is everything is already cooked. We're just going to mix and heat. It's going to be ready in no time for game day. So this is a real simple, real easy recipe. This buffalo chicken dip appetizer is going to be delicious. I've made buffalo chicken dip quite a few times, but I'm not sure I've ever made buffalo chicken dip in a crock pot. Well, it turns out Greg's done with the white meat. He's ready for some dark meat. Well, we got a little bit of white meat left. <laughs> but make sure you get the dark meat as well. I mean, a lot of people don't like to use it because it has a lot more oil in it. But dude, this is where all the flavor on the chicken is. Can't leave that out. Dark meat, where is that? This buffalo chicken dip is gonna be awesome on game day. Now Greg, we used chicken thighs on the buffalo chicken nachos we did. Those turned out really good. Yeah. We have a rotisserie chicken pulled white and dark meat. This buffalo chicken dip appetizer, gonna be delicious. We have a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Put that um, on everything. And then we have fresh blue cheese from the store. Make sure you get the refrigerated blue cheese. All right, we got a little bit of butter. We got uh, two eight ounce packages of cream cheese. You can use one if you like. We like ours extra creamy, so we use two. We have shredded cheddar. Also have fresh parsley, green onions, and then we also have Kobe Jack shredded as well. And the thing that's gonna make it Bluff City style is that Bluff City wing sauce right there, baby. Buffalo chicken dip. Bluff City Grub. Greg, we use that sauce on Wings on a Gas Grill, right? Yeah, that's from our Wings on a Gas Grill video. You see the card at the top, just click on it. It'll take you straight to the video. Another great appetizer for game day. And then we also have homemade ranch. Greg, can you tell us why this is the best buffalo chicken dip recipe ever? Because I'm making it. But besides that, the reason why this is the best buffalo chicken dip recipe ever is because, dude, you just dump everything in the crock pot, set it and forget it. Cream cheese, butter, going in, cheese, right there on top. Just dump all your ingredients right there on top. Now we're gonna do a half a cup of Frank's hot sauce. And then our Bluff City wing sauce, we're gonna do about a half a cup of that. Uh, for this game day appetizer, we're going with about a half a cup of blue cheese. You want another half a cup of that homemade ranch. So I can give you the recipe for that. It's simple. Dump that right on in there. We got some green onions here. We're only going to use about half of them. We're going to put the other half in there when it's done. All right, we're going to put a little bit of pepper there on top. A little bit of garlic powder as well. This is like the holy trinity. Salt, pepper, garlic. Man, you can't go wrong. It's like Frank hot sauce, I'll put it on everything. A little bit of salt right there on top. Make sure it suckers on low. They're right there on top. Come back in about an hour and we'll stir it up. All right, so our buffalo chicken dip has been simmering for an hour. We're gonna come over here and stir it up. It's looking delicious. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. 
Go ahead and add a little bit of parsley to it and give it a good stir. It's gonna add a little bit of freshness to it, brighten it up a little bit. A little bit more, beautiful. Now we have a finished product, just top it with a little greenery, just for aesthetics. Little green onions on top. Oh, look at that. Greg, what are you doing there? Looking delicious. Appreciate it, Joe.